Joan Swanson bringing you coverage of the International Shakeout Day. During the shakeout, millions of people, including staff here on City Hall, on October 17th at 10.17 in the morning, practice earthquake drills in order to be ready whenever an earthquake strikes. This is a drill. Please drop, cover, and hold on for one minute. This is a drill. Hi, I'm Luna Mohammed. I am the Emergency Management Coordinator for the City of RPV, and today we participated in the Great Shakeout Drill. Uh, this drill is a national drill that practices what we should be doing if there's an earthquake. So the big ones that you have heard, I'm sure a million times, if you are from California or have lived here for a substantial amount of time, is to drop cover and hold on when the earthquake starts, when the shaking happens. This is to protect yourself from things that will fall on you um, or could hit you or injure you in any capacity. So. That's the main goal. You are supposed to drop cover and hold on. If you're driving, slow down, stop where nothing can fall on you and you can't fall into anything. If you're walking, biking, or doing anything else, that's the goal is to just prevent anything from falling on you or you falling into anything to avoid hazards, which is the number one way we would get injured in an emergency like an earthquake. We had all of our staff, not just at City Hall, but in Ladera Linda and Hess Park and um, the Point Vicente Interpretive Center, we had them all participate in this drill. Any visitors were asked to participate as well. Drop cover and hold on. If you can't get under anything, cover your head. If you're in a wheelchair or you have a walker, it's not drop, but lock cover and hold on. But still, you're trying to protect your head, trying to protect your neck, make sure nothing harms you during the earthquake. And then we all evacuated to an empty grass area. Um, and that was part of the, the per preparedness portion. But that's not it. We need a go bag. You should have a bag ready to go if you have to leave. If your building is badly damaged, you're not going to enter it. <laughs> uh, so what do you need if you can't enter your building again? Uh, including your car keys, including your phone, but including a go bag with a change of clothes, with a medical kit and anything else you may need. Uh, an earthquake can happen any day, any time. Um, so a flashlight if it's dark, right? So thinking about the practical things you might need. Uh, what couples with that is making sure you get an alert. We use the intercom system to let everyone know. But if you have the MyShake app, you would have got an alert as well. If you don't, you should download that app. It gives you a few seconds potentially if an earthquake happens that's 4.5 or greater on the west coast uh, and it's in your location or around your area, it would give you an alert and it has a unique sound so it would startle you. It's not going to sound like your text messages, right? So having that app could potentially, depending on where you're at, give you a few seconds to get somewhere safe. And then the last really big thing is having a plan. So phones get jammed during earthquakes. The communication systems may be down. You may not be able to get gas. Is your phone fully charged? Or at least mostly charged? What about your gas tank? Is it full enough? Because if the power is out because of an earthquake, you're not getting gas. So what is your plan? How are you uh, getting a hold of your loved ones? Where are you getting meeting each other if you can't uh, get a hold of each other? How are you checking on family who's in school or in a different work or who are at home? The main people you can think about, where are we meeting? How are we communicating? Where are we going if our home is, is damaged? And do we have enough insurance? Do we have uh, enough supplies to, to kind of plan for that? Hi, my name is Taylor Fox. I work with the City of Rancho Palos Verdes, Open Space and Trails Division of Recreation and Parks. Uh, today we had we participated in the Great Shakeout. Days like today where we're out training um, are very important to try to um, get ourselves and others on the same page in terms of uh, if there was an evacuation event. Um, we can't stress enough how important it is to have a plan in place uh, for yourself and your family, uh, for your own home, uh, in the event that there is uh, a natural disaster or earthquake. Um, having a go bag full of uh, supplies um, that you can take with you um, and leave, leave your home if there's an evacuation called. Um, it should have your basic supplies in that, that pack. Um, and just having a family, uh, family plan in place um, for uh, your loved ones to uh, where you would meet together, where you would uh, find each other after an event like this. Um, it's very important to have a plan uh, in place for, 
an event. The drills, what they do, the biggest thing they do is they keep you safe, but second, they mentally prepare you. They mentally prepare you so that the experience of an earthquake isn't a trauma for you, hopefully. It's just an experience. It's something that you know how to respond to. Luna, you were mentioning you are new to the RPV team. Um, you're overseeing emergency preparedness for our city. Just give us a little idea of just your um, vision and philosophy of what we can do to protect our community. So I think you spoke to it a little bit earlier by saying we can't prepare for the emergency when it's happening. So my vision is public safety, number one. Uh, our number one priority is to protect lives, prevent deaths, prevent injuries. Earthquakes can happen, other disasters can happen. We are not helpless. Uh, we do have power. We do not have all the power, but we do have power and we have ways that we can prepare. Uh, a big thing for me is making sure our plans are ready to go for all the different hazards we experience. We have an emergency operations plan, but like I said, everything can get better. We can be more prepared. There's, there's no such thing as a finish line when it comes to preparation. Today's shakeout drill definitely helped the team here at City Hall become more prepared, and we certainly hope the information that we are sharing is helping you to become ready. You can always get information about resources available on our city's website at rpvca.gov. I'm Liz Brown Swanson with RPV TV. Thanks for tuning in, and stay safe out there.